Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward in your productivity. Oh, this new crazy mother. So in this episode, and this is a new segment called Trello Hacks, in episode two, what I want to do is run over a feature that I was sent by Kyle Stay. And Kyle Stay, uh, and I'll add his Twitter name on the main screen now, he is a really regular productivity fan, um, and he's also a really amazing member of the community. So really appreciate Kyle's comments all the time on my YouTube videos and also on other, uh, whenever I post anything, Kyle's always got a fantastic comment to add. So everyone should follow Kyle on Twitter. Um, but Kyle suggested something via Twitter uh, after seeing my extensions video, which I'll include in the description, which was episode one. And he suggested using a tool called Stylebot. And um, what Kyle's already done is created a Stylebot uh, theme or you know CSS file that allows you essentially to make everything in Trello in cards a lot wider so as you can see here what I can do now is I can edit it a bit more so for example if I just wanted to have lines all the way up until the edge this comes through on that so it essentially makes every card wider and it makes every label a lot wider and thicker too so Carl's made this using an application called Stylebot. And Stylebot is a free application on the Chrome Web Store. And essentially, once you've downloaded it, uh, it has a CSS button up here. And all you do is go up to the top right-hand corner. Once you've clicked this, you can open the Stylebot. And essentially, you can select certain parts of the screen, edit it, change the font style, change the font family, literally anything from background to borders to layout and visibility um, and really customize it to your kind of settings. So this is something that, you know, if you're a regular Trello user or you're a regular anything user, you can start editing your own experience. Obviously, this won't be consistent if you're using it on the web. So it's something that you can do. Uh, sorry, if you're using it on mobile, but if you want to do this on the web to start off with, this is something you can do. So Kyle actually gave me a preset of this. So all I've done is taken, if I go to his styles, and I'll include this in the link in description. So Kyle has created a Stylebot social uh, style, uh, and he did this a while ago. And he's essentially made a label, making the labels have text in. So as you can see, test comes up and test two, and uh, making the label text visible, and also wider cards. Why is this valuable? Because it's because sometimes... Trello doesn't have the ability to include all the text in one kind of row. And sometimes it's nicer to have more like more text space, but obviously not have to go onto a kind of double line to make it look like a thicker task. So essentially, once you've, uh, you know, you can download this if you're on the web and, and install it. I'm on Chromebook, so I viewed the CSS um, and I copied it to clipboard. And essentially what I did there is I went, so essentially what I did once I did that is I went down here, press edit CSS, control A, control V, and then click the save button, which is down here, and it applied the settings. So now I can create cards that are really wide, and I can add a lot more text, and I can see all of the label names uh, as I go across here, which is great because that saved me a, a bit of time, especially on my kind of uh, editorial calendar, uh, which I'm yet to... Um, which I'm yet to see when it comes to uh, using the wider card scheme. So let's see what it looks like off the... Okay, so this is what it now looks like. As you can see, uh, it's taken all of the text labeling and also made all of the cards wider, which I kind of like. It just looks a little more appealing uh, visually to be able to process that information at a wider angle. So anyway, that is my Trello hack for this week. It's not mine, it's Carl's, obviously. But if you keep suggesting these sorts of things, I'll definitely include them in a new segment, Trello hack. So all you need to do is follow the link, uh, the links in the description and the instructions in the description too, to go through that process. And obviously you can edit your own, you can make that all of your own. Um, uh, but remember that obviously the CSS, uh, you'll have to back it all up and make sure that obviously when you, you know, your computer crashes or something bad happens and you're outside of uh, being able to install that, you can reinstall the CSS like normal. So anyway, thank you very much, guys. 
That was another video. That was another Trello segment. There's more to come. So keep in tune every week for more Trello hacks. So thank you very much, guys. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.